I really don't want to start this video off by saying I told you so, but <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so today I want to talk about what has been happening, the most recent developments of Steam, Steamit, and Justin Sun, who is that one guy, that one loud guy behind Tron. So what had happened was uh, rumors flying about of Justin Sun acquiring Steamit Inc., which is the company that helps, uh, you know, develop and promote uh, the Steam blockchain and Steamit.com, essentially, which is the blogging platform, one of the very first uh, decentralized social media efforts, definitely one of the most popular yet, uh, at least most widely used in my to my knowledge, a decentralized media platform where I myself pretty much started this whole thing, uh, gaining an audience, getting used to blogging a lot, talking about my travels is definitely how it started off. But steamit.com was uh, essential for getting involved, learning from people, uh, and getting used to being in front of the camera, really. It's what inspired my creation of this YouTube channel that is Crypto Tips. But Definitely want to give credit where credit is due when it comes to my cryptocurrency origin story. Uh, and for me, that was Steam It. So it's really unfortunate to see this go down. But like I said before, I don't want to say I told you so because quite frankly, I've said it a lot of times about this delegated proof of stake consensus algorithm where you have a set limited number of witnesses or number of people who are able to make changes on the blockchain and essentially control that blockchain. Uh, a lot of proponents of DPoS say it allows for uh, streamlining, uh, acquiring consensus, letting hard forks and changes, necessary changes to the blockchain happen quickly. Um, but again, it limits the amount of who can participate really in the network, or at least who can get paid for it. And when it comes to wanting to take over that blockchain, it definitely cuts that number uh, compared to a much more decentralized network, it cuts that number to a much more manageable number. So the sun is going down on me, but I wanted to get this video out and let you know what's happening because especially regarding my recent video where I was talking about, is it possible to take over Bitcoin? Essentially, no, because it is far too expensive and pretty much no. And what we're seeing here with Steam blockchain, although this is directly involving Steamit Inc., um, it is involving witnesses, and that is the governance model for the Steam blockchain. So although Steamit.com is one application on that blockchain, there are many other apps on the Steam blockchain, but because Justin Sun had his eyes on Steamit.com or Steamit Inc., uh, the, he also gained access to the entire blockchain essentially through his work with witnesses. So what had happened was uh, Justin Sun acquired Steamit Inc., and with that, he would also get gain access to a large amount of pre-mined coins. Now, the previous owners of Steam and Inc., Ned Scott, Dan Larimer before, they pretty much had a spoken agreement with the witnesses that they would only use those pre-mined tokens to help fund community development, not to use that stake to vote for witnesses or to vote on content and essentially be a huge gatekeeper for information and control a lot of how the blockchain works. So now that they sold out to Justin Sun, um, a lot of the witnesses were scared of what he would do with that large stake of pre-mined coins because it was a spoken agreement and a trust, a whole lot of trust going on there with the previous CEO of Steam and Inc. And it was not in a contract, certainly not in a smart contract. So, uh, you know, of course, it is in Justin Sun's best interest, monetary interest, to gain access to that stake. But the witness is wanting to try to protect the integrity of the blockchain and try to keep it as normal as possible possible as it's been running in the past. They issued a soft fork, which would essentially freeze Steam and Inc.'s stake without, uh, so essentially not allowing them to spend those coins however they want. 
Uh, I'm going to share with you a article, an article that was written by the Steemit blog on Steemit.com, and the owner of this account is Justin Sun, or you know, in his in his team now because they're the ones who run Steemit Inc. Um, it was deleted. It's since been deleted, but thank you to someone who archived it. I've got access. Brady Dale, I'm looking at you. Thank you for that link. Sharing it here. I think it's definitely important to uh, share because it is. <laughs> it gives you just a peek into how Tron or Justin Sun wants to frame this whole situation. I will be posting a link to this archived blog post since been deleted down below in the video description. For those of you who are concerned about Steam or Steam It and you want to understand where Justin Sun is coming from, how he's trying to twist this, definitely check out that link so you can read this blog post for yourself. And should come as no surprise that a lot of the very original members of Steam It, like Roland, uh, and, and many others have had loud voices in the comments down below of how they feel about this whole situation. So basically, what has happened is a lot of people... <laughs> This situation with Steam is a perfect example of all of the ways a blockchain and how people participate in their investments of the coins for that blockchain can be done in all the wrong ways and it can lead to one megalomaniac wanting to take control and have power and uh, do whatever he wants with it. So. So this is going to be something definitely is still uh, in in development. We're going to see how how it pans out for Tron and for Steemit and for the Steam blockchain. But so he he calls the software twenty two point two, which was the initial efforts by the Steam original Steam witnesses to freeze Steam and Inc. away from those pre-mined coins. He calls it maliciously structured, intending to freeze a handful of very targeted accounts and taking away their rights and possession to their owned account, owned assets, and may be deemed illegal and criminal. Gulp. <laughs> Is he going to be pressing charges? Because a lot of these witnesses, although they have the ability to be anonymous, um, I'm sure a lot of them actually have their identifying information pretty well known. So, man, <laughs> anonymity, decentralization, and owning your own coins, not storing them on an exchange. These are the lessons hopefully to be learned by those participating on Steemit.com. So... What happened? How was Justin Sun able to overpower the soft fork and gain access to these pre mined coins? And what is he going to do about it? He was able to work with his friends on centralized exchanges to use the amount of Steam tokens that were being stored on those centralized exchanges by many different individuals who had invested in Steam and chose to store those coins on these centralized exchanges. Hmm. What do exchanges do that are very similar to what banks do? They tend to take your investments because they have the rights to them, because they hold the private keys, not you. And they went ahead, took that investment and used it to their benefit by becoming witnesses on the Steam blockchain. So <laughs> because so many people stored their Steam tokens on exchanges, these several different exchanges had the ability to uh, <laughs> have enough weight to become witnesses and pretty much overpower uh, the, the original witnesses. And again, it is only because the Steam blockchain is delegated proof of stake that even allowed this to happen. It allowed it it definitely shrunk the uh, the amount of witnesses needed to overtake to pretty much control the blockchain. Now the the wording again in this blog post by the steam by the steam at blog is kind of scary. Um, yeah. <laughs> what does it say? Um, okay. There is a lot of hypocrisy and a lot of irony here for those of you who can put two and two together and remember what is important. This is something why I'm preaching always on this channel. And for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, who have watched my videos for a while, I think that that, I mean, not to toot my own horn here, but I think it's going to be paying off for you 
If you have it ingrained in your head to pay attention to things that are centralized, how things are organized, central, I've said it so many times, centralization can come in many different forms. I mean, it's pretty obvious here with delegated proof of stake, but you have to be able to not get sucked in to this tribalism to see a project for what it is. Yes, you can certainly be excited about it. You can participate in the community, but have your eyes open and don't don't shut yourself to the truth because it could definitely affect your investments in the long run of those projects. Yes, many of these projects can actually get away with uh, really poor organization and not actually having a working product in when it comes to an, as an investment because this space is so incredibly speculative. I mean, Tron, for one, hello, if you ever needed an example of that, if you ever needed a, an example of a bot run platform and dApps and, you know, whoever's participating, in it, it's not it's not like 600 million or whatever he's trying to claim it is. 600 million bots and a bot farm that he's hired probably in India or China somewhere. Sure, but not real people. Let's be real here. But let's get back to, okay, here's a scary uh, comment that he said. Commitment to the community. The Steam blockchain will not be abandoned or merged to Tron unless the community decides so, which right now the community is Justin Sun and the centralized exchanges. Now, for the next four to six weeks, the Steamit team will be using the voting rights to resume the order of the community, to resume the order of the community, while having an open channel for meeting community members and witnesses. The goal is to protect the Steam blockchain from bad actors, add transparency, and receive community suggestions and advice. After the four to six weeks period, the Steam team will give the government will give the governance back to the community when it's back in order and mutual agreement. So Justin is saying for the sake of decentralization, he's going to go ahead and take all the power and wait until everyone is okay with playing by his rules. And then once they agree to that or everyone's in, you know, on the same page, then he'll go ahead and give the power back. That sounds like exactly what Satoshi wanted for this blockchain space, man. Um, so, and then he goes on to say, you know, everything that they're planning to do to help, help steam it. Um, here, for example, Roland Roland on Steamit, a uh, great guy who always organizes the Steam meetups, but he says this, do you, do, do you understand this is exactly what we wanted to prevent? This With this move, you literally killed Steam, used customer funds, called your friends at exchanges, and without customer knowing, using funds residing on exchanges to power up and vote. And he also, of course, centralized the Steam chain, centralized it even more. It was already pretty centralized. So talk about um, if you could take down Bitcoin and my thoughts on how it's counterproductive to do that because by doing that, you're essentially going to drive the price down of the coin that you're trying to control and essentially making it worthless to you and to everyone because this is a free market and people are definitely free to move from one coin to the next. Steemit is great. It is definitely one of the biggest and most used decentralized social media platforms that we have at this space, but it's not the only one. Maybe this is going to be what what sends, a, hopefully, it sends a lot of people away from Steemit, away from Justin Sun and his crazy interest in centralization and control and trustfulness. Um, but it's really unfortunate. Again, it's like... So many of these of these people commenting, I've had converse, I've met them in person, I've seen them, I've known them for over four years, and it is really sad to see something like this happen. Uh, again, I have been very skeptical of DPoS, and maybe I haven't spoken out about it as much as I should have. I've definitely mentioned it many times in my videos, saying that it's I'm not the biggest fan of it. But this is a perfect example of how those kind of principles matter and how paying attention to those principles will save you in the long run. So that being said, I will continue to preach the good word of decentralization, the importance of it, because as things continue to develop, things will be tested and things that are centralized that uh, other people will want to control if it is centralized, that is one hell of a weak point. So... 
keep your eyes out, stay vigilant. We'll keep keep an eye out on how this uh, Steam thing, Steam It Inc. and all that drama plays out. But uh, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate. I just want to keep you guys in the loop, and that's what we're working with right now. This is definitely a quick put together video. It just happened today, or I got news of it today. So. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. In the meantime, I'll be coming to you guys again soon. Until then, have a good one.